Welcome in CACPHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create an API in CACPHP. In next tutorial, we will see the implementation of JWT. So let's proceed. So let's see an example what we are going to do. I'm in Postman. So you can see here is an API in point to add category. So in this link, I'm sending a request with some request body. You can see a title and title is orange and then I'm sending a request and it's a post request and after send request you see that the response body have given a 401 unauthorized error and it's telling us authorization is required to continue the main cause for this error I'm not a authenticated user to save a category so before add a category, I have to log in. So I'm just going in login API. You can see here is the API endpoint. I'm just to set the email and password in here. So if I send the request in, in using the post uh, request, so I will get a token. So here's the token that I got. If I just take this token, if I just go in add category, if I just go in authorization section, if I just select the type called barrier type or barrier token, and if I just set the token in here, and if I send the request, now you see I got the 201 status and my title has saved. So this is the procedure that we are going to do. And that we are going to implement uh, that we, we are going to create an api in CACPHP. so let's see so the first procedure to create a create an api we will create a route so i'm just going in my source and i'm just going in routes folder i'm just closing everything i'm just opening the project folder and here you can see the config and here is the routes.php file so here if you open your routes file you will see there are some routes in here for your existing application and here is another routes scope for api oh i forget that uh, let describe first the database so let's go in here i'm just opening my database i'm using here the mysql so i have one database called inventory and inventory has a users table and users table has some fields username password email so you can see the password is the type is for current hundred this is only the one table that i have so if you see my application you can see i already implement the login system in here and i for uh, implement this login system, I actually followed CACPHP authentication plugin tutorial. I have implemented authentication plugin here. I already given a tutorial on authentication plugin. The link has given in video description. In very shortly, I'm just going to describe what I actually did for implement this login system. So very beginning. I'm just uh, installed authentication plugin here you can see the version is 2.0 that I have used and then I have just given this command cag back all users to generate the MBC file for my users tables and the next thing that I have did I have just go in app controller and you can see that I have just I've just loaded the authentication component which is provided by authentication plugin and the next thing I have did in model, in entity and user table, I've just used this function called set password for change my password or hash my password. So here you can see I have used a class called default password hasher. And the next thing I have did in application.php in the source directory. And that's actually called middleware. And in this middleware, I have added this authentication middleware object in here. And the next thing I have did in our 
uh, in our application class, I have just implemented authentication service provider interface. And here you can see I have used a method. If you just implement the authentication service provider class, then you have to use this get authentication service. So this method I have actually copied from here. So I have a step by step actually followed this tutorial. So if you are not able to implement after see this tutorial, you can see my video video that I provided in video links. So let's go in API part. I am just closing everything. So my login part is finished in application using the authentication plugin. So let's create the API. So now I am going again in routes in config in routes.php so you can see there is the scope for your application and here is some route that I have created for login and logout and also for dashboard very simple route and I am going to create another route scope for API and if you are using um, if you download the CACPHP source and in routes file you already seen this comment actually provided by CACPHP they have already uh, proposed you to create a separate if you want to create a separate uh, route you can do something like this way so I'm just following the code I'm just going to copy this line paste it in here just going to finish it in here and here I'm just uh, mentioning that which extension I want to apply for my API I'm using here only the JSON So extension that I am meaning, if you see in Postman, in every URL, I have added this extension called .json. So this actually I mentioned in here. So next thing, I need two route. One is for login, another is for category. So I am just going to create these two route in here. So in both route, will be a post request that I will send. So here is the two route so first this builder and the post and here is the route that will be look like user slash login and I've just made uh, mentioning that where the action will be action will be in price controller and action will be in login and the prefix will be API and another method uh, another uh, URL that I am giving here the add category and add, add category will be the same it will be the add category and prefix will be api so after save i'm going in controller and i'm just go going to create a prefix folder called api and in this api i'm just going to create a file that called price plus controller.php here I'm going to start the PHP tag I'm mentioning my namespace app then um, app then controller and API so this is the namespace and second uh, I'm just uh, use, going to use my parent uh, class that means the app controller so I'm just going to use the app controller and the app controller so for API I'm not not going to create a another base class or API uh, app controller for my API I'm just using the existing app controller so that's why I just used it here and here the class the class name will be the price plus controller and it will be extends with app controller and it will uh, there will be two method public function login and there will be another method public function uh, add category I have created the routes 
I've also created the class prefix class and there is also the two method so let's see am I able to reach this function so I'm in postman and here I have created a new collection called cacphp test and here is the post request so you can see I have given the URL 9000 is by port API user login and email and password that I have provided if you just send a request you will see a response missing or incorrect CSRF cookie type so <coughs> by default if you go in application dot php that means in middleware by default cac php enable csrf token uh, middleware true if you just go in here you will see it so if you just comment it then you will see your api is working fine but the problem is we are not one to uh, we are not one to uh, remove this CSRF pro protection for my all existing uh, URL or all existing post requests. I just want to remove it or skip it only for the API prefix route. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going in here and I will take a variable and also CACPHP has uh, some way to uh, a method that's called skip check callable callback which will uh, allow you to skip a uh, skip a prefix or some url if you want to skip it uh, f from the csr production that you were able to do so i'm just taking a simple variable csrf and i'm just uh, create the object for csrf protection middleware And then I'm just uh, uh, this CSRF um, protection middleware has a method called um, skip check callback and this skip check callback has a callback and this callback will hold as a parameter called request object so this is the request object and by this request object you are able to uh, able to check this uh, your prefix for example if your prefix is api then you are able to set the true for skip this uh, csr protection for this uh, prefix so i'm just going to write if this request and there is a method called get param and I'm just mentioning the prefix and if this prefix is API that I have created for a prefix for API then I will return true so now after save I have to uh, sorry, I have to also add this CSRF uh, variable or CSRF production middleware object in our middleware queue. So here I'm just going to uh, use this middleware queue and I'm just using the add method and I'm just uh, uh, giving this uh, modif object in here. Now after save, if you just go again and if you send a request, now you're seeing the CACPHP, uh, CACPHP error, not the CSRF production error. So we have skipped for our uh, API, CSRF production for our API. So now I will just change this login and add category method. So first let's change this login method. So I'm in here. So you already know that uh, authentication plugin or authentication pl um, class has a method called get result so by this result we are able to if I send this request it will just uh, give the result of the user and also there is a method if the result is is valid by so you can it will return the boolean so we can check this user is valid or not so so I'm just using the is valid method in here so if this method 
uh, is valid then we will set the user and user get data result get data that means user data that we will uh, send as a rest json response and else if it's not true then we will send a http response 401 that means unauthorized and message that will set invalid user or password something like that and also for json response at first we will set the user and next we will just serialize it for C A JSON response. So that's it. Now if you just go and if you just submit the request again, so you can see we are getting the user information in here. So that means we are able to log in. Okay. So now if you just send a wrong user password and just send again you'll get the invalid user and if you just correct it you will get the login user so this is a simple in point that we have created for login our api so in next part in this tutorial we will create the jwt plugin jwt uh, we will implement the jwt or json web token for send add category and also we will create a um, we will complete this add category method and also we will create a table call categories so this is for the two days this is the two days it was that was the two days tutorial i'm sorry for my english i'm not a native speaker pardon me so welcome for the next tutorial